Okay, I'm going to be replacing the BMS on a Pagoda uh, LG uh, M50LT pack, 900 watt hour. This one that I received uh, was bad. Um, I checked the cells, all the cells are within the parameters, but uh, uh, when this pack is in the system, the wheel uh, will not charge. And through process of elimination, I found out this was the bad pack. The way I did it is I uh, disconnected all the packs from the wheel and connected one pack at a time and put the charger on and uh, uh, the charger would work on all the good packs. And then as soon as I would plug this in, uh, the charger would not uh, allow the system to charge, which shows problem either with cells or BMS. I checked all the cells that are within the parameters, but um, I will tell you. Okay, uh, on these new uh, MT60s, there is two negatives, one positive. Uh, there is a thicker gauge negative, which is for discharge, and a thinner gauge negative, which is for charge side. Now, they should, th this goes in a parallel system. So, uh, if I go positive and the thicker gauge, it shows 84.1. And it should show the same on the charge side. It should show 84.1 also, but it does not. It shows 35.6. Okay, this pack is a replacement pack and supposedly it is good. So if we do the same, doesn't matter which way you put the probes. Okay, I'm on the positive and the thicker gauge negative which is for the discharge and it is reading 85.4 then I go on the thinner negative which is the charge side and it is reading 85.4 so that is good uh, so I'm going to desolder all these take this guy out this BMS and put the new BMS on so the way I'm going to do this, you need a very good um, soldering iron. I like the Heiko soldering irons. They work really good. Obviously, some good solder for electrical boards. And you put this as hot as your solder can do. I'm going to put mine at, uh, soldering iron can do. I'm going to put mine at 850. Then you just uh, put a dab of solder on here. And then you got to put it on here, melt it. I'm going to use a sucker. And I suck the um, solder out. Then there's a tab here from the... Uh, cells that get soldered on here you don't want to straighten that tab straight up you may break it so you have to be gentle with that part and just play with it try to get it up to a point where you can easily remove and then turn off crazy <laughs> And the thicker wires because it sucks up the heat, but they take longer. There we go, and there. Come on. I'm worried it's not there. There it goes. I'm going to start from uh, you know, uh, B1, then B2, B3, B4. Basically in sequence. Yeah. So I suppose you could first 
B8, B9. Get your thingy ready. Melt. And then Yeah, so that's a better way, I suppose. Melt it, peel off a little bit, then use the sucker. If there is any solder still stuck to underside of the tab. Okay, these big tabs, you have to work on it a bit more than these little tabs, so. Okay, going to be the new BMSs have a double-sided sticky tape. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they have double-sided sticky tape that, you know, you peel this paper and stick it on the battery. So now, to take that off, And he's a s look at him. Mm. Okay, so I think I got it. Yes. Okay, so there you go. While you have it open, check for any issues, any cell deformation any damages <laughs> my husband speaks french <laughs> yes i'm crazy i'm sure most of you know that by now grace speaks french <laughs> what you laughing at New ones. Don't don't be putting grease and stuff from your fingers all over. If you can wear gloves, great. I just can't. So you really uh, didn't have to desolder these connections from the bad uh, BMS because the new BMS comes with the connections. Uh, I just did it, wanted to test my soldering iron. And besides, I'm gonna keep these connectors. Okay, so after you've removed it, I would go ahead and check each connection to make sure you didn't mess up the um, uh, tabs. 28, yeah, 35, yeah, 42. Correct. I 
Then I heard something pop. Um, it all checks out fine. It could have been the double-sided sticky tape just uh, releasing itself and that is the popping noise I heard. So we'll carry on doing this side and then we'll see what uh, mess we've made. Okay, turn this guy back on. when you're putting the new VMS back on make sure it is pretty well lined up otherwise these tabs may not reach okay let's see tab is done B1 B2 B3 B4 B5 B6 B7 B8 B9 B10 11 12 12 on this side, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then the B positive. Okay, so now we check the voltages and keep our fingers crossed. We'll go check the discharge side, 84.1. And uh, here goes the test, what is it? I can't see. Okay, discharge, 84.1, charge, 84.1. So that is good. And now, positive and calm is 74. And then if I go negative and calm, is 9.16 then the negative on the charge side and the calm is 9.16 9.16 74.1 okay 84.1 shouldn't be nothing and this should be 84.1, yeah. Okay, so the popping sound was the uh, double-sided sticky tape just releasing itself. So, um, now obviously, after you've checked everything, you have to bring these wires like before because they're gonna come out of the wrap you would silicone here, right? Like that. And then uh, put your wrap on, heat shrink it, and you're good to go. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Tally ho. <laughs>